fights. Did we get everything that we wanted? Uh, I, I don't think so, but there are new phases coming. So I, I you know, for, for this phase, I think that uh, we received support, we received what we wanted. Uh, and uh, as we move into other directions, I, I'm convinced that we will continue to get support and that we will come to a, uh, uh, to proposals that will uh, yeah, that will sustain the system, the quality of and uh, and safety. So we receive what we need now, and we're moving on to the next phase. And I would just finalize by saying, as as a minister of health, if the two health authorities, the two chairs, the CEOs, and the boards, and the staff, and the healthcare professionals, come forward to a minister and say, this is what should be done in the best interest of health care, in the best interest of the people of New Brunswick? And I were to say, no, you're not doing that because it's not in the political best interest of me. Reprehensible, despicable, and absolutely not what New Brunswickers should expect from their government. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. I just want to, and I, 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 uh, I felt that uh, long we needed to take the support that we received. But there's something that's also very critical. And I've been around for, for a number of years. This is the first time we can do a reform that is not based on financial resources. So this is very, very key. So. From that angle, it was something that we were, were you know, it, a very, very good surprise. Minister of Government said, do the right thing. Merci, Monsieur Lantang. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Ms. McGrath. That concludes our press conference. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. We got copies. Pardon me? We got a copy. Hang on one second. I pass it on your right. That's fine, thank you. You want a kit? Yeah. You don't mind? No problem. Yeah. So you survived that? You survived that? I did. You did good? You gonna go in the hospital now? I don't have I don't have much of a voice left, even for you. So con consultation, that's what's gonna be important here? Thanks, Charles. Yep. That's some fun. See it looks no scribe on it. Who is that 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 you That is your that's your minister that's your minister of health. Ted Teddy Fleming. What do you call himself? Yeah. Ted Huge. Fleming. Huge Ted what is it? Is it Ted Huge Fleming or Huge Ted Fleming? Ted Huge. Where's the Huge? Huge, yeah, okay. H. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you very much, sir. Communication. I have this journalist from St. Thomas. So he's one of the smart guys. Yeah. Communication. And see, we have a guy like you. Communication is very important. All right? 
uh, this guy here been there for years. Smart. I asked for the first release. I got it. He came out, as you see, he came out, made sure that I had it. And uh, as you as you des commentaires du vidéo. Oui. As-tu? Oui. C'était pas pire. C'était bon certain, t'as fait une maudite belle job. Oui, belle job. Tout, tout à bien répondu. Oui, en gros. So, ben vite là, ben vite ici. Qu'est-ce que tu les Acadiens en Caracas, il faut qu'ils soient warriors, qu'est-ce qui va arriver là? Si, il faut être quoi? Les Acadiens, non? On les a... Acadiens, je pense que ça va être un changement positif. C'est sûr qu'ils sont inquiets, mais ça va être un changement positif dans l'ensemble. Ça fait que. On voit là, quand même de belles améliorations. Une meilleure accessibilité ouais. euh, aux soins pour la grande majorité de la population. Qu'est-ce que tu dirais aux eux qui disent qu'il y a beaucoup de vieillards et qu'ils restent pas mal loin de, de Caracat? Il faut qu'il y ait le Chipagan pour une emergency. Comment ça va tout être ça? Non, non, mais le Chipagan et euh, la Mecque, ils vont déjà à Tracadie. Ils vont déjà à Tracadie. Ils vont à Tracadie. Oh, oh, oh. Ça change et, rien. Ça change rien. So, ils n'ont pas besoin de mourir. Non. Du tout. Du tout. Le ciel ne va pas t'aimer. Non. Nice to rock on the back. A percent. Ah, you know who that is? Yeah, who's that? What's his name again? <laughs> What's his name again? The French guy? Uh, yeah. Lantan? Lant Gilles. Gilles Lantan. He's the head of CEO of the French. The French uh, side of the hospital. I'm sorry, my mind. You don't know who's going to come out here. Mm -hmm. Hello, how are you doing you? I'm well, how are you? Oh, still alive. Hey, have you seen Monica? Uh, I don't know who Monica is. I don't know. Janica? Uh, she's been in Ottawa for two weeks. Yeah, you know, I was supposed to meet with her. And then, okay. Well, uh, Shannon's your best bet to get a hold of her. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, okay, thanks. So, anyway, so uh, this is where also communication. Sorry, I got this right. See, that's why this thing here, you gotta move fast. Uh, communication, and we had a guy, when I first started, I was sending emails. We had a guy, I'll bet you, Tim Post. He was a communication person of the, per, of the premier. And he really, really made my life miserable. He didn't want me to attend news conference, nothing. And then we had, uh, like I told you, uh, J. Jean-Francois Cartier, when he came to the premiere, um, announced that Francophonie to be cancelled. And then I came here, and then suddenly I said, Monsieur Leblanc, is Owen? No! I hate his face. And the guy that gave me this, he's smart. He's smart, he gave me this, hello. So then, you know, just... Uh, it's called it's communication in New Brunswick. You're supposed to communicate with people. So why do why do they give me a hard time? I came here once. Remember that video? Do you have a ticket? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Come on here, man. Yeah, we're 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 agitators. Okay. How you doing? Fine. I'll go upstairs for a minute. She wants a student from St. Thomas. Good. How are you? What about media? If I have a ticket, that's her. What? That's her. Oh. The blonde. <laughs> they were both blonde. Huh? They're up there at both points. The one that was turning her jacket. back, her back pew, her Kathy pew. I was going to say, the one in the blue jacket's really nice. Her oh, yeah, I know her. Is in her my yeah. daughter's daycare class. Like me, like I told you before, I'm Scottish. And people that cross me, I don't forget. Oh. And I'm just going to show you. I just here. I was here to state the province address where you were too chicken shit to show up. <laughs> But that's okay. They were all here. Convention center. <clears throat> I think the doors are locked. Just giving you some uh, hands on. Yeah. So I came here the escalator. And then right here, Bragg Woodside. 
his son, Brent Buchanan from KSJ Radio. All day, I had a you know dress shirt on a little bit, and I had my hat on, not necktie and everything. And uh, so I told Brad, there was four people here. And they said, he so he was talking to me, hey, Charles, I said, uh, there's a lot of snobs here. I'm going to let them, they pay $125 a ticket. So I said, I'm going to let, I'll talk to you later. So I come in here, and then when I come in here, I presume the door would be closed. Yeah. So I walk in there, I want to take a before and after shot. So I see this woman, elitist, I never came face to face with them before. Open the door, and sir, and sir, and sir, and don't touch the table, sir. Huh? Don't, and then she goes, and then she opened this door. So me, I come out this door. And then you must leave, sir. So here I was, right here. And then, she went like this, and I go like this, I had my camera, and I go, no, no, not tonight, not tonight. She went right there, and right there, it was five people, she went like this. And next thing you know, they all look at me, they went, oh, like, oh, it's here, oh my God. 95% were lawyers. I saw the lace after. <clears throat> and then they approached me, and you, all you got to do is write the Fredericton Executive Woman Commit Organizing Committee. You'll see the video. It was amazing, asking me if I had a ticket. Now, I said, what do you think? I had a ticket in my back pocket, but they never asked me downstairs for a ticket. I came in. But they said, well, sure, just show you, show them the ticket. I said, if they want to ask everyone for the tickets, sure, no problem. But you single me out. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I never received an apology from her. I got an apology from the one that formed, uh, formed the, the group, Pandotes. But the sad part about all this, Morgan, is so after we went from there, now they're all here, they're all looking at me like. So I talked to Mike Pearson, he was his, uh, an advisor to the Premier, whatever you want to call it. So then they approached, did you, did you watch, did you see the video? Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. when she asked me, it's just like going to a movie, yeah. get a ticket. So yeah. they wanted me to get the hell down there. So what I did, and I told, they approached, oh, their doors open here. So what I did, the Brian Jones, friend of mine, the sponsor of the event, and this is the place, too dark, you won't be able to see. I said, I gotta go to the washroom. So I went to the washroom. I came right back. Right almost to the head, head table. That's what the number was. Mm -hmm. And then that's where the manager downstairs says, tied me on my shoulder. Do you have a ticket? I mean, why would I go to an event like this if I didn't have a ticket? To be degraded and say, to get the police that I tried to go somewhere without being invited. Mm -hmm. So this is the problem that we're having here. It's not as bad as it used to be, but like they, like the woman downstairs, she said she wished that I would forget, you know, just forget, but I'm Scottish, mm -hmm. I can't. So I had to put a zing in there saying, oh, we're just doing, she said, she won't want to with journalists for a ticket. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But this is what I got to go through. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not as bad as it used to be, but there's still some people that will not, they refuse to acknowledge who I am. And now, and what's a journalist? You're going to St. Thomas, journalism sports. Big deal. Everybody, I'm mean, so sorry. But you'll, you'll be, oh, what's that word again? Oh yeah, credible. Credible, you'll have a diplomat, you'll, be, you'll have the Irving papers. See, see, see how I dig and dig and dig? Yeah. I'm an agitator. They gave a million dollars, so they gotta <laughs> they train their future soldiers. I mean, their future journalists, very good. Just kidding. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was here to state the province address. Who do I see? It was funny. A guy came and uh, 
talk to me? I went like this. How are you doing? It was the Irvings. And first name they say, the bureaucrats. They know you. You know them. First name. And then they say, hey, Charles, how are you doing, Charles? You're looking good. So, I mean, I know the Irvings personally. I know the per every premier that was here since Frank McKenna. I know all kinds of high class people, and I'm on social system. What's wrong with this picture? Mm -hmm. You know, we're all here for a reason. My reason is to be the worst nuisance that society has ever seen. And I guess I'm a professional. Now, there's the premier. See that there? See, we we're going to slow down. Did you see the premier? Oh, did you go in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you already met the premier? No? But, see, there's, there's territory you pass, and there's territory you don't. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. How are you? How you doing? Good, man. Let's keep what you said. What's up? What's going on here? Oh, deep breath. Same old, same old? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Those are the big shots in there. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I, I really don't know. A deep breath, you said? But we can... Uh, we can turn around. I think that's the big shots. See, there's lines you pass, there's lines you don't. Mm -hmm. Now, if I was, I might be crazy, but I'm not stupid. If I turn around and act like an animal at a news conference, that will, that will be it. You've seen how, how I did it. Just wait after. I don't have to be in the mainstream media and ask questions. I don't know. I'll stick around for you to meet meet the premier. I'll be I'll don't be a, don't be starstruck. Oh, that's the premier. <laughs> you know. I'll, I'll take a picture. You can save it as a souvenir. <laughs> okay, let's shut this damn thing off.